Hey guys, Gavin here. I've got a nine minute booty workout for you right now. It's gonna be laser targeted hammies, the butt. Great for cellulite as well. So if you struggle with cellulite in the hammies and the butt, your little dimples, that sort of thing, then this is a great way to try and smooth them out. Try and make these muscles a bit more toned, kind of push up, try and smooth out those dimples. Okay, that's the idea. Now, first exercise is crab walk. And you're gonna need one of these bands for this. So it's a resistance band, or kind of like a giant elastic band. Very, very cheap to pick up. You can pick them up in most health stores or go on Amazon or something like that. You'll find them on there. Now, I'll show you this exercise. It's very, very simple. Looks a bit crazy, but my God, do you feel it? Now, I'm only gonna do one minute of this, but if you want to do longer on this exercise, it's a very, very good exercise to do, especially for any lower body routine that you might do. Because most people, their glutes don't work very well. Next couple of exercises, we'll try and fire up the glutes, but this is a good one to start with. Okay, too much chat. Let's get going. All right, so let's do this. One minute. Band, wrap round, nice and tight, a little bit of resistance there. So we're gonna walk it from one side to the other. And if you find it too easy, then you need your band a little bit tighter. Okay, hands on the hips or thereabouts, coming across. Kind of a, not a giant step, but notice I'm not letting my leg ping across. Okay, and that's it. This is just in one minute here, but if you want to, you can do longer than that. And a bit quicker. Up it, shall we? Let's go. Oh yeah, I'm starting to feel it now. And we've still got 20 seconds to go. Uh oh, gonna be in trouble. Oh yes. That's a very, very simple move. Keep your head up, abs braced. Oh yes. Last five seconds and the butt is primed. We're good to go into the rest of this routine. Oh yeah, so as I said, just one minute. If you're new to that exercise, then you're definitely going to feel that one. All right, let me take this off. All right, into the next exercise, which is probably the most, I don't know, sexiest exercise ever invented. And I'll show you, okay? So we're here, we're lying down, we're chilling out, okay? From there, you're looking to pull this knee up to there. I told you, it's very sexy, <laughs> okay? But while we're up here, try and squeeze the top butt cheek. That's what we want, okay? So I'm kind of pushing down on my heel there. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And also when you bring it down, you can squeeze your thighs together. Now you can have your hand up here for even more sexiness or just rest it down here, okay? And you can, if you've got a band, you can put the band around there as well. But well, I've shown you enough, so let's get the time going. So up, I'm gonna go in this sexy position here. Bring it up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So I'm pushing my top foot, the heel down. Into the bottom foot. There's little tweaks you can do to this if you wanna make it harder. For example, you can pull it up a little bit. Up. But, not go crazy, hey? Let's stay with this one. In fact, I'd say that adding a band to this set is probably the best bet. But you've really got to make sure you push your heel down into it. Otherwise, it's, it's way too easy. You're kind of just doing that. And it's kind of going through the motions. So make sure you really do get some tension into that heel. All right, time to switch around. So flipping onto the other side, I'm going to spin myself around. Watch my mic. There we go. All right, so sexy position. Let's do this. So we're bringing it up, squeeze, and back. Now I'm setting up slightly here just because of my mic. It's been a pain in the backside. See what I did there? A little pun for you. Open the leg up. Now I recommend not doing this in the middle of the street ideally at home with the curtains closed okay we have oh 20 seconds to go again don't go through the motions squeeze the butt cheek boom back again try and squeeze your thighs together i don't think it gets any better than this does it all right, so really focus on that butt cheek. I can definitely feel that my, my left butt cheek 
is nowhere near as engaged as my right. And you might find that as well, or at least one of them is stronger than the other or doesn't quite switch on as much as it should. So this next exercise is a very good one. This is why when we look to work the glutes, it's always good to go with single legs. All right, so this next one is a one-legged bridge. So you're just gonna lie on your back. All right, one foot out straight. And all you're going to do is lift your butt off the ground and try and get a straight line from the shoulder all the way through the hip up to the knee. Okay, so it looks like this. We raise it up nice and high, looking to squeeze the butt cheek, come down. Now I like to do this exercise really, really slowly. So it's not about the reps, it's about that time under tension. So the amount of time that you're actually contracting your butt cheek. So it's very easy to just go up and down, up and down, but without getting too much contraction time. And if you struggle at this one, you can take a couple of seconds rest, bring it back up, because you want to get those, kind of that, that straight line. If you're fatigued, you find you might not quite get to the top. I've already done a couple of workouts before this video, so I can definitely feel I'm not quite getting high enough as I'd, as I'd like to. But you're going to take the rough of this move. definitely feel my hamstring work in there my butt going over time too struggling to get to the top here I'm gonna take a second on this one try and get some good quality reps in there we go all right switch into the other side here we go straight into it no rest needed here now this side feels much stronger So as I mentioned a second ago, my glute on the left side didn't feel like it was kicking in as much as it should do. And that could be why I wasn't getting as high as I'd like to as well. I'm just letting my butt kiss the ground. Try not to rest there too much. Now on the standing foot here, the supporting leg, try not to push through the toes. You want to be pushing through the heels. Time check, we have 10 seconds left. Don't rush it, keep it slow. All right, last couple of seconds. One more. And down, good job. All right, next one. This is a, a funny old one too. I'm bringing out all the stops today. So you're gonna be on your front. All right, and you want to take your knees, kind of, if you're on a mat, just towards the side of the mat. Kind of head rested on your hands in front here. You're gonna bring sort of the heels together or thereabouts. And just gonna squeeze them. Okay, so we're gonna go 50 seconds, 10 seconds rest here. So bring them up, squeeze slightly, but try and keep your head down because I don't want you to give your back any issues. We're here, let's bring them up slightly. Great. And if you struggle getting your knees off the ground in this position, then just literally squeezing your, uh, your feet together is a good one too. So knees wide, try and get your butt into the mix as well. So just that little lift, very, very small movement, but try and squeeze those heels together, get your knees off the ground. And once again, I definitely feel my right glute doing a lot more work than the left. So, again, not one perhaps to do in public. Keep your head down, otherwise you're gonna start really low back, doing some of the work. And voila, there's a couple of reps there where I felt like my hammies might go into cramp. If that's the case at home then, I'm with you, I feel that. All right, next exercise, single leg raise. All right, so we've got three more moves. So three more minutes. Now, what I want you to do here is kind of a low plank position. We're here. All right, and you're just gonna raise the leg up and we're gonna keep it high, okay? You're gonna be here and you're just gonna try and squeeze the butt cheek. All right, so kind of pulsing movement. So we're trying to stay high. Now, I don't want the lower back to be doing any work. So I don't want you to go super high, just enough to feel that glute kind of switch on. Focus the breathing. Oh, yeah. And again, if at any point you're struggling, drop it down for a second. Bring it back up. And go again. 
Sometimes that's all you need, just that little bit of time to yourself <laughs> and then go back to it. Now, you can definitely hear me going a little bit quiet and that's because I'm struggling to touch. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm way ahead of time there and down. All right, straight on to the other side. Okay, up again. Now in terms of the leg position, I've kind of, kind of what you might call a little tripod here. My arms are down and my knees sort of a bit more towards the middle for balance. And my back leg is kind of almost in line with the, the foot of the back. So I'm gonna try and get a little bit higher there. I don't want the upper body to move at all. All right, we have 20 seconds to go. I'm into our final exercise. And I've gone a bit soft on the final exercise. We're gonna do just a bridge. All right, two-legged bridge. I'm just gonna hold it, try and max out the contraction. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, let's get it a little bit higher. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Now that was a pretty weak pulse there. I've got to hold my hand up. All right, should be a little bit faster. Dink, 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 dink. But, you know, we'll try next time. All right, so, onto your back. Two legs, hips off the ground. All right, push them up and then try and keep your feet together for this one. You want to squeeze your butt cheeks. Find some breathing rhythm. Keep that up high. Come on, push those hips up. Feel my hammies, my butt, and the lower back is trying to kind of do a little bit of work there as well. Keep the thighs pushed together, keep them pushed up. All right, we have 20 seconds left. Hold tight. Up, up, up. Knees together. Come on, come on, come on, fight it now. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. There we go, good stuff. So, there you go. Nine minutes booty workout, obviously a little bit of fires involved there as well. But that's a great little routine if you struggle with squats, lunges, you know, any of those movements where you're jumping up and down. So you can still get to work on the back of the thighs, the butt, and once again, try and smooth out any cell out that you might have there. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. Give it a go in a couple of days time, see how you get on. And if you want to, you can always double up on that. So if you have the time, then go ahead. All right, so that's it from me to now. I will see you next time. Take care, bye.